Taurus, thank you for being here. It's Elle here to do a quick love reading for you for April. Uh, we're going to ask the questions, uh, what does your partner want you to know, what they aren't telling you, and what's the potential outcome for you guys, okay? So I've shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. Let's go ahead and get started, okay? Um, I hope that everyone is all right, uh, is healthy, is in a safe place. Uh, thank you for everything. Um, uh, I hope that this message resonates with you, okay? All right, so what does your partner want you to know? What does Taurus partner want them to know? What does Taurus partner, okay. Nine of Swords, that maybe they're, they're having a tough time. For some of you, in separation from you, they're learning about themselves, what they did in regards to the relationship. Um, they're learning about themselves and how they operate, how maybe they weren't the best that they could be in a connection, maybe due to some some physical uh, issue, mental or physical issues. I don't know why did I, why did I say physical. Hmm. Um, some of you, your partner is uh, far away from you, and, it, and it's and it's hard. You know, them you being gone or them being gone away from you. Um, this separation is, is, uh, very hard to deal with mentally. They want you there. They just don't understand the separation, the, the um, the distance, okay? Uh, this could be physical distance. This could be emotional, mental distance. Like, you guys are just not getting along anymore. And they don't understand that. The distance in regards to that. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, what your partner wants you to know, they're not sleeping well at night. They, uh, they, they constantly, it's just a negative cycle, the anxiety in regards to maybe an ending or feeling like something is over. You know, they, they can't do this anymore. It's extreme pain for them. Okay. So that's what your partner wants you to know. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, Five of Swords. They feel like um, they, it's, it's a losing battle. No one wins in this. In this marriage, in this long-standing commitment, in this love affair. It's just too much drama. Uh, it's, it's people being childish, being underhanded, doing underhanded things. There's too much jealousy. There's backbiting. It's just... This is how they feel. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo. What they aren't telling you, the Queen of Cups, that that they're in love with you, or, or they're trying to find love for themselves first. Um. They may be getting advice from others, from friends, or giving advice, or they may be keeping under wraps how they feel or what's going on with them. They may be keeping it under wraps very well. They're trying to remain emotionally stable because at any minute, any turn, this can unravel for them. So they may be, they, they, they could be a mother. Um, they're trying to remain emotionally stable, Taurus. Whomever you're dealing with, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a mother, a very emotional person. These fell out, but I'm not going to take them. Um, yeah, there is people just trying to maintain their emotional stability. Uh, I'm here walking on eggshells. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> Gee. Okay. Um, some, you put me out of your house. I don't know. You put me out of the house. I don't know what this is in regards to, but Taurus, I hope that it resonates for you. Um, there's somebody, yeah, they were, they want you to know that either they are playing mental games or they were, it may have backfired on them. Now they, they aren't, um, the potential outcome here is. Okay, the strength card and the two of swords. So, someone is contemplating forgiveness, firstly forgiveness for, of themselves, 
before themselves and then others trying to operate in a level of compassion trying to get over the hurt the pain the disappointment the toxic behavior and move past it be the bigger person uh having the strength to do that uh, but they are of two minds about that should they do it should they not or if this is you towards you you feel this way in regards to a leo a libra it, yeah it could be anybody but um are you gonna have the strength to forgive move on uh try to heal or are you going to stay blindfolded and act like nothing is going on here? Somebody's got two options. The outcome is forgiveness and compassion and moving on. But someone is very much confused about what to do. Or there is contemplation. Should they end it? Or should they forgive, forget, and move on? Those are the two options. If somebody's not doing either one of them, they're not taking any option. They're just existing. Okay. Taurus, what does your person want to say to you? What does Taurus person want to say to them? Wait for me. You broke my heart. At the bottom of that, we have you're so immature. We have the five of swords here. Where there is someone being, you know, there might be a level of immaturity here. Um, You broke my heart. Wait for me. This is what they want to say to you. Maybe you, you chose to take a path that wasn't aligned with what this partner w thought you would do. Or what you had done historically. You did something different to us. For some of you, there's a person asking you to wait for them. They just need time, energy, effort to forgive you or forgive themselves or whatever. Or to get over something. And then some of you, somebody's contemplating and ending a situation because there's a broken heart here. There's, you know, mistrust or distrust. Excuse me. Taurus, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, you, you can go over to the website, get your own reading just like this one. Um, take advantage of the coupon codes below. Um, the phone readings are 50% off, but you must email the email address below. Uh, you can also text a question or 10 to the number below. Pay for your question or questions on your mobile device. Receive the answers to your question via text. So it just makes it more, you know, accessible. You accessible to me and me accessible to you. Take advantage, okay, in these uncertain, trying times that we have. Hope that everyone's safe. Many blessings to you all. Remember to stay in prayer. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.